Hey YouTube, getting dark on me. This is what I've been working on. I actually got this box from a place I was working at. Some equipment came in and I thought it'd make a great battery box. So here's the uh, four batteries I started. Well, I started with two and then I got two more. I'm trying to use a flashlight so it shows up. So there's the four Duracells, six volt golf cart batteries. These are the four Trojan T105s I got for free from work. They thought they was crap and all that, and I put them on the D sulfator and uh, charged them and let them kind of discharge and uh, just on and on and on. And they, I haven't been able to load test them. I don't have a load tester yet, but I have. I mean, they hold voltage and not just surface voltage. I mean, they. Uh, they hold, I forget what it was now, like six and a half volts or something like that. So, well, together with another battery, they in the series, they hold like 14.2 volts or something like that. So, anyway, I just got done putting them all in series. So, that's eight six volt batteries, 52 volts. So, it's 48 volt system, but it's just the fact that, uh, They've been charged and charged and <laughs> not really been used. They've just been, and like these four Duracells right now, they've just been in float. I hadn't really been using them. Uh, so I got my batteries outside in a battery box, which I do have a lid for it. Um, I plan on painting this box so you know, it's be a little bit more weather resistant. And um, I may even put some kind of little like little awning down here to you know to keep rain from directly hitting it uh, I got my cables going into the house I wasn't sure if I was gonna be able to get through right here because I was afraid it would be like the door frame but I was able to punch through and uh, so trying to keep the cables as short as I can they're about uh, I think I measured maybe eight foot a piece and um, and that was a little extra that I didn't need, but that just kind of gives me options in case I have to move something around. I got an extra foot, you know, to play with. So I gotta go back and probably fill this in with some, uh, get some of that styrofoam stuff, great stuff or something like that it's called, and uh, get that, you know, sealed up. It's pretty tight, but I still need to seal it up. So anyhow, I feel a lot better. Get the batteries out here and all hooked up in a series and it's still kind of made me nervous putting that many in a series i kept checking the voltage every time i hooked another battery up so it went from the you know, 24 to 28 to 32 it was just going on up so anyway just a little update hopefully by tomorrow i'll have the uh the midnight solar switched over to the 48 volts which ain't nothing but pushing a button on it and uh the little kid and uh, have that uh, Ames inverter hooked up and we'll see what she'll do. Today was very cloudy, really wasn't much coming in. Tomorrow maybe it'll be a little better and maybe we'll be able to see something. I could load test it and see how it does, but anyhow, taking baby steps right now. <laughs> Later YouTube.